Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 2, episode 4, Kirby's Dream Collection, episode 12, or something. Here we are now at level 5, Red Canyon, or Gray Valley, something or other. Yeah, I'll just assume it's red. Oh, thank oh, god. That was kind of cool. But, unfortunately, I was imagining what would happen if Rick stopped, or did not stop becoming Rock and crushed Kirby against the wall. That'd be kind of a sad way to end the game. That's what we call a close call. Yeah, it's just Oof. one of these vignettes just once. Ah, shit. One of these vignettes ends in uh, Kirby's death and uh, takes no. like 20 minutes to resolve before you can actually play the game again. What the? Come on. <laughs> ah, well. We actually uh, need Spark for the rainbow drop this time around. Oh, it's in level one? No, it isn't, but I'd like to keep it because... <laughs> well, that was a slip of the thumb if I've ever seen one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> totally meant to do that, right? Oh, absolutely. I, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to fight him at full strength to know that. Uh, yeah. See, I could have beaten him otherwise. But leave yeah. it fair, right? Make it a fair fight. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really throw much at you, though. No, he doesn't. Come on, man. Oof. Come on. Just, just one more. Just throw one thing at me. One thing. No. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Alright, what we need is Rick and Spark. This move. Oh, well, it's uh, it's Wand again, it's isn't it? The beam ability. Beam, that's right. In which you use a wand in later Kirby games, yes. But we need Rick and Spark to get the rainbow drop, which is far later in the level. So let's see how long we can keep this guy. I really hate my mind, because every time you say Rick and, I always think you're going to end it with Morty. <laughs> Rubba lubba dub dub. <laughs> I could see it. You know, Kirby Kirby jumps on Rick, he goes... <laughs> Rick goes, Rubba lubba dub dub, and then they just drive off. <laughs> oh, gee, Rick, I don't know if we should be doing this. Oh, it looks pretty dangerous. Nah, Morty, you're thinking too much about it, Morty. Let's just go. I, I think that I should probably do some thinking about that. I haven't watched enough of the show to make a really good impression. Nah, here, we'll give you an ability to give you lightning, Morty. It'll be great. <laughs> uh, oh, well, how the fuck is I supposed to, am I supposed to get through this? Uh, yeah. Oh. But, oh! Wow. <laughs> oh, right. God. Yeah, uh, to be fair, you should not have survived that, but you did, and I'm very proud of you. You're such a good gamer. I'm so good at this mediocre Kirby game. I mean, Bloodborne, what the hell is that? Kirby, Kirby's Dream Land 2, hardest game. Have you been hearing about how people have been uh, <laughs> crashed to... I was hoping you'd bring it up. Yes, yes, I have wanted to bring it up, too. All right, to to totally date this episode... What the, fu what the fuck? Okay, yeah, uh, sure. Anyway, to totally date this episode, uh, people right now... Uh, People right now are uh, saying that the new Crash game, or at least some, some reviewers, are claiming that uh, the new uh, Crash Remastered Trilogy is on the same level as Binding of Isaac and Dark Souls. Have you never played Crash Bandicoot <laughs> before? They're, they're difficult games, I'm not, I'm not gonna deny that. They are definitely pretty difficult platformers, but they're nothing near Dark Souls level. They, they're a mascot platformer, and you know what? The only thing that makes it difficult, speaking of which, is the fact that the frames per second got buffed. The 60 frames per second is the thing that ruins your jumps. It's not that hard. If anything, ukulele is more Dark Souls <laughs> than fucking Crash Bandicoot is. Or maybe we should say a lot of these mascot platformers aren't like Dark Souls, because they're not that fucking hard. Come on. Well, ukulele's pretty tough. Pretty tough uh, it right. can be, yeah, but Crash Bandicoot, come on. It is, it is hard. I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that at all. And here's how you know we're in a different type of Kirby game, because it's just a straight-up ninja. The... <laughs> it's, a, it, it's just a straight-up ninja. Probably some up, some some other it Kirby really game. Is. Not, or uh, some other Game Boy game that got cancelled. Oh, shit. Yeah. No. They, no. But they like how the guy does his thing, so they kept him in Kirby's Dream Land 2. Oh, Kirby crossed with Ninja Gaiden, finally. Or maybe this is more Ganbari going on. Uh, I would say more Secret of Masamune's Castle, perhaps. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll work. Hey, Gooby. Thanks. I forgot Gooby existed. 
I'll be honest. Gooby, I'm sorry. It's best that you do. Oh, okay. All right, Is he so, a bad dude? Oh, oh, can't get that stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 great. Now I'm just straight fucked. Oh, now I can- oh. That's mean. Mm, that is mean. Did you need him for this level, or is it the next one? Nah, I mean, we don't need him right now, but... but <laughs> I despaired too long. Uh, I'll just die. Anyway, we don't need him right now, but uh, we will need him later, and we will get him back, so... Don't worry. We got the hardest rainbow drop in the last level, and this one is... A little trickier, but nowhere near as convoluted or as dickish. Oh, yeah, look at that. You would need to have a buddy with a power to get through that. But I do feel like the guy who, de who designed this level is a prick. <laughs> I hate gamers, and especially children. Let's make no. this as hard as possible. No, I wouldn't say that. I'm, I wouldn't say like he's a prick that he wants to make children suffer through his Nintendo games. <clears throat> no, I'd say he's more of a prick as in he's probably a dick to work with. Oh, okay. So he's like, he's that guy. You know, you're trying to talk around the water cooler, and he just comes in and tells oh, you. Oh, shit. I, see, of, dick, you are dick so right dead. Hey, look. Look, two one-offs. Can't get them because you have the power right now. Yeah. But, I mean, I think he just hates working at Nintendo because I, I think he's like, this is, this is like 1995. And PC games are like all the rage right now. They, mm. They're more mature experiences. They're more for older kids, you know? Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. But uh, he's working at Nintendo, where they focus more on children's games. I mean, it's only like two or three years from now until they release Yoshi's Story. Oh, if really? Can't ever play that game. I don't know. Yeah, I and love I think, that game. And, and I think he resented being in, in such a kid-friendly company. So I think, oh shit. So I think he, uh, when he designed this level, he was uh, trying to be a prick. <laughs> You'll see later. It's like, God, God damn it, Jerry. Can you just enjoy your job for one day? Seriously. <laughs> His name's Jerry. Uh, uh, Jerry-san. Fine. You just enjoy your goddamn job for one day, and maybe we can get through making this Kirby game, all right? I like to think he quit, and then he started to work on PlayStation games, and that's how he got some great gems like Shadow Man that never went anywhere. Ugh. Actually, I'd like to think, you know, he started working on Bloodborne. <laughs> Went over to Sony's side, just to spite Nintendo. Well, I guess that... That man was Hidetaka Miyazaki! Whoa! Oh ah! shit! You were saying? Actually, uh, you might not be too far off. Wow, that's the end! There we go! What a Kook. pissy Koo kind of breaks the game. Whenever no. you see uh, Tass runs of this, they always use Koo <laughs> because you can... If I can go wherever! I, I kind of want to see that now. I want to see speedrunners break Kirby games. Oh, it's always great fun. <laughs> well, most of the time, because most of them just get wheel and just do some insane tricks yeah. like that. <laughs> I can see that. But every Kirby game gets tasked differently. Like, a Kirby 64 task is vastly different from, say, a Squeak Squad task. Mm-hmm. Because Kirby 64 don't have wheel. Kirby 64 is also slow, isn't it? Kind very, of? very slow. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oof. That How thing are you just supposed to beat this? Friendly. He throws his spikes and you throw them back at him when he doesn't have his spikes. Oh, God. Is this like Gordo's dad? I didn't even know he could fly until this day. <laughs> you always beat him too quick? I always beat him on the ground, or I didn't have coup at this point. Oh, now you got Spike. Oh, hey, he's... Okay, we'll get Kai. Ah! Oh, my that... God, Kirby, how? That just Why? looks agonizing. <laughs> I swear, Kine's getting ripped off in this deal, in this Kirby deal. Like, yeah, you got Koo, who's, you know, he carries Kirby, so maybe the spikes hurt him, but not even that. And then you got Rick, who's just constantly, you know, Kirby's on his back, and he doesn't feel anything. But Kine, man, he's getting ripped off. Yeah, Rick's actually the one who gets the spikes. He turns into a porcupine, but no, he is getting <laughs> skewered from the inside fucking out. He is becoming a ghetto version of a pufferfish. You know, I actually want to see... You remember that face that hand makes in Mario Paint when you're swatting the flies? And that little ah! voice that little voice clip where he goes, Ah! I'm trying to think that, you know, Kine maybe does that scream every time <laughs> Kirby uses Spike. Because <laughs> goddamn, that must hurt. See, that or we've been piloting a rubber fish forever. Maybe that's his secret. 
all of his friends are rubber, and that's the only way you can be friends with Kirby and live. I mean, he gets a he, he, he gets a girlfriend in Kirby's Dream Land three. What? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, man. Choo. No, my Kirby will not have a love interest. Choo. Oh, this yeah, sucks. Yeah, Choo Choo. They say that she's an octopus, but I think she's just a wad of chewed up gum. <laughs> just like Kirby. Really? You know, it's perfect for him. <laughs> oh, the only thing that Kirby can consummate with is chewed you gum. You can't swallow gum. All right, so oh, uh, God, you're right. I noticed something about one of the levels here. I'm trying to remember which one it was. I think it was, was it one or maybe it was two? Uh, this, no, it's not it. No, that's right. It was World Three. I'm trying to get uh, Rick for the fifth level here, and if you look, you go in here, and I'm thinking maybe I can just get another, uh, another shot at a. Uh, can't really. Come here. I'm thinking maybe I can just get another shot at uh, getting a, a different friend. So take him out. And that's... Well, that's cool. It's not really what we need, though, so maybe we should try again. So looking over here, and maybe I'll try this... Wait a minute, that's water. And that's a coup. And so this is grass... Oh! oh look at that! So I'm, I'm willing to bet that this is probably... Yeah, there we go. My boy! Uh -huh. All right. Nice. We're in good shape then. That's some um, decent level design. So now the t challenge is trying to keep Spark for the rest of this level. Shouldn't be too hard, I right? Not. I would hope so, at least. Yeah. No, you don't want it to be hard. I do not want it to be hard, no. Because there's a lot of water here, and well, when you have Spark, you can't really. Uh... Yeah. Well. Well, you... all right. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe there's a way I can get the spark from over the. <sighs> Need to get. Want to get the. Mm. All right. I guess I gotta go all the way around. And all right. Can't do that. I suppose. Can't exit either. So I guess I'm doomed to just continue the level like last time. Brilliant. Fine. Fine. Well, whatever, maybe we can just... Maybe the rainbow drop won't be too far off. Or better yet, maybe there'll be spark enemies up here. As you collide with the only one left in the level. There we go! Noise. Oh, a dark room, so you know what that means. They're hiding something from me. I don't know, we gotta go back in there. There's something in here. There it is! <gasps> Yeah, stars and Scarfy and more stars and another Scarfy. What's over here? Ah! No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. The only thing over there is I pain. I don't know what's over there either, so ah, I guess we have no more business here. Anyway, to the other door. So this is the crucial moment here. You gotta survive on this auto scrolling oh. section and keep the spark ability. Oh. And there's one other little curveball at the end. Mm -hmm. Let's get going. Man, th these auto scrolls go way too fast for the speed you actually go, you know? <laughs> no kidding. Especially when you can't run. Like, uh, 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 Return to Dreamland has a lot of these sections where you gotta, like, run fast. They're like, uh, auto scrolling sections, pretty much. The thing is, you could run mm -hmm. in those games, so if you wanted to run yeah. away, you could. And there were actually ways to push back the auto scrolling, too. No, no shit. Yeah. That's awesome. So, don't go through this door. Don't. Do not. Go through oh. this one. Hmm. And there's the rainbow drop, but you gotta do something special oh. here. You need Rick's spark ability to hit those from over there. No one else can do it. And you can make that jump with Rick, but I'm not taking any chances. Not with the luck I've had. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it either. There you go. There's level 5's rainbow drop. That was pretty easy, all things considered. Now all you're gonna do is just finish the level. Well, that didn't seem too bad. I mean, I know as soon as you get hit, you lose your power. And now for the naked lady. That yeah, doesn't seem too bad. Oh. So here's a face. Uh huh. There's some. Uh, what? The, oh, oh, that's that's. Ew. Oh, belly button and I get oh, it. hips and uh, oh, 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 come huh. on. 
Jeez. So, is this where you put an image of the entire thing? Yep. And it's it's funny because they put a spiny That's... right at the top of the pelvic area. Uh -huh. That's hilarious. Uh -huh. And the... Oh, that's shit. so funny. Uh, <laughs> no, that's real funny. Hit me. That's comedy right there, folks. I think I'll go ahead and get coup for this one. Just why not? Bring in the bird. Went into the boss arena, and it is... Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright! Oh, hey, they do come back. Same stick as last time, though. Gonna do his, uh... Beam ability there, and... Well, shit. Well, shit. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. That uh, shit. <laughs> I'd argue that this is probably the hardest boss in the game, because they do this move now, too. Ooh, that was cool looking. Yeah, yeah it's a, an all-screen hurt thing, so you gotta get uh, behind the moon in order to protect yourself. He is really hard Damn. to hit. <laughs> Picking up their game! It's because the screen's so small compared to when we last faced him in Adventure, but maybe we can make this work out for ourselves by using Cutter to take cheap shots when we need to. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. Uh, what? Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Give me that! Give me that! Nope. Okay. Nice! There, we actually hit him. Don't oh, shit. Aww. Oh, oh, no! Uh, Cutter's gone! I think Ku is uh, going to. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Koo, no! It's like, well, Koo, I think you're going to di Oh, you're you're dead already. No, okay, well, hmm, see you, buddy. It's nice knowing oh, you. No more. Well, that's a good shot, at least. So, oh. so close. There we go. Another screen explosion. Almost got the sun. Mr. Shine, I think. The sun shine, the moon is bright, etc. Oh, it's a broken sun! That star's about to blow! Yeah, I think we're doomed. I think Kirby may have just killed <laughs> not only uh, his planet, but the entire solar system he's a part of. Oh, God! Our entire galaxy is destroyed! Kirby! And, uh, here's some more astrophysics for you. When the sun crashes uh, into the moon, well, really, the moon just uh -huh. kind of evaporates in the sun's radiance. Jesus. Probably, like, before it even gets there, so... Really, the sun would be fine. It's the moon that's got the problems. But anyway, that's level six, but we still need to do the whole bonus chance nonsense. Oh, good. Oh, good indeed. So let's give it a try. How difficult could it be? So, Mr. Shine's gonna head up here, and Mr. Bright's gonna be rolling around trying to fuck me up. But Mr. Shine's gonna fuck me up, too, by throwing rays as well as stars. That's mean. Yeah, so I gotta keep an eye on two things at once. So we'll try again here. My guess would be is to uh, keep, well, my, my advice would be is to keep an eye on the sun, but also be wary of where Mr. Bright is, too. Because if you get away from him at the right moment, you can be open, so that way you can pick up the star for later. And don't be directly underneath good? the sun, either. Well, right. I mean, you don't even want to do that as a human. Don't stand under the no, sun. No, no, you don't want to do that. Uh, uh, oh no! Oh, phew! Hot! Ah! Oh. Up! Oh. All right. I choked. So we'll try again. Hmm. And so the battle went on, it, day and night, oh. facing Kirby, and he lost again. All right. Time for some real advice. Come with fur with fire, burning, whatever. Because again, that acts as your slide function. And you can also pass right through Mr. Bright. Oh. Without taking damage, I mean. Don't know if it works on the sun's rays. I think it does. I mean, it would make sense, because it looks like you have invincibil invincibility frames while using fire. Yeah. Gotta make sure I do it right. Recognizing... Please uh, let this be the run where you go through it and you don't even need fire. Actually, I would say it's crucial... <laughs> oh! Like so. Okay. And that last one killed them. them. They are now dead. They get the last one, and now we are without a sun or moon. Hmm. Hooray, I guess. Good job. So, 
That's level five of Kirby's Dream Land 2, and I guess we're moving on to some volcano or some shit. Cool. See you next time! Uh -huh.